Okay, 7.5, strengths and lengths of covalent bonds. So we've looked at creating all of these covalent bonds. It's important to understand how the relationship between strength and length is. So the strength of a covalent, covalent bond is determined by two factors. The size, larger atoms have weaker bonds. Uh, in fact, let me just not bury the lead at all. This is the trend. If I, to increase strength, Increased strength is caused by a decrease in length. Shorter the bond, stronger the bond. Shorter length equals an increase in energy, right? Energy, the measure of energy is how strong it is, okay? And this last thing, which I probably mentioned in class, is bond order. Okay, so increase in strength, a decrease in length, an increase in energy, an increase in bond order. So the higher the energy, the higher the bond order, the stronger it is. The shorter the bond, the stronger it is, okay? Bond order, uh, just, just in case you forgot, carbon, 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 double bond carbon, carbon in, uh, actually we'll do oxygen, ozone for example, with his, with the resonance structures. So if I look at this bond right here, this has a bond order equal to one. This right here has a bond order equal to two. The bond there between oxygen one and two, one and two. Remember, it's an average of those two structures, so what I have here is oxygen, oxygen, oxygen with a partial bond in between. The bond order for this is one and a half. Half the time it's a double bond, half the time it's a single bond. You end up the total bonding divided by the number of structures. There are three bonds between two structures. One and a half is the bond order, okay? So again, so bond order equals total bonds divided by number of structures. Okay, so triple bond would be a bond order of three. Okay, good. All right, so strengths and lengths of bond. So atomic size, the larger the atom, the weaker the bond. Larger the atom, the weaker the bond. Okay, and therefore they have a lower bond enthalpy. Yes, so increase in radii or size. equals a decrease in bond enthalpy, okay? And that's in fact what we see. If I take a look at these 254, this is a strong bond and comparatively, this is a weak bond. And how can we explain that? So if we look at them, these are a little bit extreme, but not really actually, this is a chlorine bound with another chlorine versus iodine, which is actually pretty large, right? Long, short, comparatively long and short. So they are in fact shorter than one another, okay? The number of bonds between them is the second thing. So I just said that the size of the atom on either side, now it's the number of bonds as well. So what is the bond order of this carbon? So length, bond order. Okay, and based on this, uh, we know that the strongest, uh, this is the highest, the carbon triple bond is the highest. So we know that this is gonna have the shortest and this is gonna have the longest. And we know that because these are the overall energies, right? In terms of bond order, bond order one, two, and three. One bond, two bonds, and three bonds, okay? So bond order does in fact matter. All right. Uh, and actually these are just examples. Group 7.7a diatomic, and I'm not sure what I'm exactly asking. Maybe this is what I'm asking essentially. 
Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So here's some data. Uh, by the way, we don't really use we use picometers, and sorry, the spacing is off, but you get it. Uh, example 7.3, which of these do you expect to be these? Which is the longest, strongest bond? Which is the longest, which is the strongest? Okay, give me those two things. And why not? What is the bond order? of those okay same thing here uh explain this trend by the way i'm going to add one more c6 h6 for benzene uh the carbon carbon bond between benzene i'm going to look up the bond order or the bond enthalpy rather, rather distance rather carbon 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 bond distance is for benzene is one point four zero. So, what do you expect a bond order to be? And where does this fall compared to everything else? That, those are the questions I want to answer. All right, perfect. So that should do it.